the, I know you can understand the passion around for that, but knitting is something that has always shown love. Knitting right now, if you've seen in the New York Times and in all these incredible magazines, everybody's been talking about knitting and how there's a great resurgence for it. So what we are welcoming in is a brand new opportunity for us here. And we have a very special guest. We have Laura Zander who's joining us and she has actually traveled throughout the entire world collecting some of the finest knitting individual tools, but also the finest knit knitting fabrics. We're going to start you off with something that's going to give you everything that you need to get started to actually make your own individual neckerchief. But these are all hand-dyed individual wools that we're using on this. And they have such great fabrics. And then we have such beautiful color choices, too. So welcome to HSN. It's lovely to have you here with us. Thank you. First Thank time. A little nervous. Thank you. You're going to do fantastic. <laughs> now, the color choices that we do have, we have it in the neutrals. So you're going to be able to make the nice neutrals. Yes. We also have it in the cool palette. And then we have it in our warm palette, which is right here. I expect that the cool palette's probably gonna be one of our most popular today. That's a lot of the girls yeah. like, yeah, yeah, or a lot of the yeah. women like that. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what we're actually getting here in the configuration. Well, this is what we call our big beanie bag. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a couple of different hand dyed yarns. Um, each of them are made out of wool. They're superior yarns. You're not gonna find them anywhere else. And they've, again, like I said, they've all been hand dyed. Um, one of these is, they're all super wash merino yarns. So you can throw them in the washing machine, you can throw them in the dryer. Um, they're really, really easy to care for. Okay. And like I said, they've, all, they've got different dye techniques that are unusual. So they're not dyed in a factory. They're not dyed, um, they're not dyed, you know, mass produced. I mean, one person in each of these uh, were dyed by women who quit their corporate jobs and started hand dyeing companies because wow. they love yarn so much. Um, and they've each got different kind of signatures and different techniques. So one of them has a glazing technique that they use. Um, one of these women, you can kind of see uh, the detail on this um, and the same thing on this side. Uh, it's, it's a different technique. She's using tons of different colors. Um, and then this woman, she was actually a baker and she quit her job and she started um, dying in big, huge pans. Beautiful. So uh, again, very, very exclusive, very interesting yarns. Okay, so along with that, not only are you gonna receive these are the exclusive Jimmy Bean tools that you're getting. To try each one of these, you'd be looking at around $25 per individual roll on that. But you're not just getting that. You're also gonna get all the finishing tools that you need. You have the cotton dry drawstring project bag. There's a canvas zipper, little notions pouch. You have the Knitter's Pride uh, wool shawl stick that's mm -hmm. in there. You also have the darning needle that's going to help you to sort of sew in the ends. And then you even get the little soak wash to actually watch, wash the fabrics that you're going to have along with that. If you do need knitting needles, if you don't have knitting needles, I do want to let everybody know that we have a fantastic opportunity for you on some of the finest knitting needles that you will ever see and experience. And then they come in these gorgeous cases. This one happens to be black, but we have all kinds of beautiful colors. If you want to get the beanie bag hand um, dyed yarn sampler, we have fewer than 300 of these now left to go around. So these are not going to last very, very long. I wish we had more, but we don't. You started the company with your husband about 14 years ago, correct? I did, yeah, so. yeah. Um, my husband and I were dot-com software engineers and I learned how to knit and was super passionate about it and thought I would go and try and make a living out of it. Um, and we, we did. Uh, and, you know, the wonderful thing is uh, in the last 14 years, I've just met some incredible people um, and we all share a passion like many of you guys do for crafting, for knitting, for sewing, for all kinds of things. But this, you know, this yarn that you can touch and feel uh, and, and want to sleep next to uh, has a special place in my heart. So um, in this kit that I told, you know, we, we talked about, is it's very unusual um, it's you know we're launching this we've never put this together before but the idea is that it's a true sampler uh, my husband makes fun of me because I love samplers you know every I'm restaurant I go to you want to try it yeah I want to try oh, it yeah. all oh my god yeah it's, and how do I know what kind of yarn I actually <laughs> really want to get exactly yeah well that's exactly it and these are very you know again these are uh, very fancy yarns um, extremely extremely soft and if you're gonna be wearing something around your neck like mm -hmm. one of these, you want something that's very soft. Uh, and I would be more particular about the dyes and everything that would be used. Well, if you're gonna make something neck. for somebody else, then, uh, you know, for yourself or for somebody else, you kind of want it to be unique and mm -hmm. you want it to be something that 
um, you're not going to find in many other places. Uh, you know, we always make a joke. So there are 300 of these. That means that if every state, there are only six of these available for yeah. every state. So, you know, what are the chances? And still <laughs> everyone is going to be its own individual. Exactly. Because it exactly. is handmade by you. What a nice, peaceful way to kind of do something with our time and to kind of get away from all the hubbub and all the electronics and everything. I, I love that you went to knitting from being a software design engineer to going into knitting because it is, it's that inner peace. Many of us have been taught by our grandmothers or we're taught by our mom or maybe you taught yourself and you're self-taught, but this will give you everything that you need. You can be a beginner and you will be able to use the Jimmy Beans wool and this selection because you even give us the instructions and everything on how to do this. Mm -hmm. So all you need are your own little knitting needles. You're gonna have the big bean bag, so it's everything in there. You get to try all of these beautiful wools that are in here. All you have to do is choose the color. So the one yep. you're working on, and we'll hold that up for a second so everybody can see, this is the neutral pack. So this is sort of the neckerchief that you're gonna be able to craft and create with that as well. But you show us how to do all the little finishes and little tools and yeah. little designs. Yeah, there, there are only really a couple of techniques. I mean, what you do, this is fine yarn. It's a fingering yarn. Um, you hold it double. So okay. that is one thing that you have to learn how to do. It's not complicated at all. If I okay. can do it, anyone can do okay. it. Um, and then your color changing. So again, we tried to find a way to allow you to sample a couple of different yarns, figure out which is your favorite. Um, and if you don't like one of them, we, you know, the good news is you don't have to knit with it for very long. Right, <laughs> yes. But it's a nice way to be able to find out and experience how you're gonna love that. So these are the different color choices. This is the neutral that I had in my hand. The one that you're looking at right here is gonna be our cool palette. And then this is our beautiful warm yeah. palette. Now, how long would it possibly take somebody to knit one of these? A couple of movies. Okay, so Maybe. a couple of movies. Yep. So just while you're sitting there, and you don't have to constantly be watching it. So once you kind of get the little... I will not do something yeah. that I have to constantly watch. Yes. Yes, and this is something that I can do. I actually, you know, I make this, and it, that's what makes it so meditative, mm -hmm. is after, you know, a long day of work, I can sit there and just zone out mm -hmm. and just get going on it, so... And then you have a beautiful project, and you have something that you finish. You have that sense of accomplishment. You have that sense of pride. And maybe, you know, the hands don't work quite as well as they used to. There's a reason why you often see elderly women and elderly men, you actually do see them still knitting because they can kind of do that. And this is gonna work around. Plus now you have nice soft fabrics. These are wonderful fabrics. These are not the kind of fabrics that you would find in your typical fabric store or in any um, mass market store. They're the kind of fabrics that if you have that little boutique that has those specialty yarns, that's where you would find those yarns. And which one are we the most limited in, Jared? So we do have most limited currently right now is the neutral. So our neutral palette, the one that you're working on right there, there are only 40 of those now left in the neutral palette and not much better in any of the other ones as well. So it really is just absolutely beautiful. Now we 